Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS full tutorial series. In today's episode, we are going to learn about a very very important utility that will jumpstart your applications. A lot of you who are beginners or junior developers or new to Express world will keep asking some common basic questions. Or if you are joining a larger team, you would be intimidated by looking at the folder structure or the kind of code they use. Today's, after today's episode, I guarantee you that you would find yourself much more familiar, much more comfortable with the code, with the structure, much more because we'll be using a tool and utility called Express Generator, which would help us generate the shell and skeleton of the application. This is part 13 of the ExpressJS full tutorial playlist. Please do check out the previous episodes to continue your learning journey. Alright, so today we are learning about Express Generator. There are much more tutorials that are going to come up using MongoDB as well as with MySQL. So very interesting stuff. So stay tuned. Make sure you like, share and subscribe to my channel. Alright, so before I start Express Generator, there are some questions that I keep getting every now and then. What should be the ideal folder structure? Where should the views be placed? Where should the templates be? Where should the public assets be stored? How should we link the style sheets? How do we create routes? Uh, is it necessary for us to always hard code the modules? Where and how I should be writing the modules, etc, etc. If you have come across any of these questions in the previous uh, episodes that we have covered, you are here for a lottery because today we are going to cover and address all of these questions. And your answer for that is Express Generator. So using Express Generator, we will be able to get a proper ideal structure. Again, it can be easily changed or adapted based on your need. But Express Generator gives you a kind of a skeleton, kind of a project structure which is ideal or rather I would say recommended. Right. So let's get started and see how to use that. Before we use, remember that Express Generator is an application generator tool which is used to quickly create an application skeleton. This way you can easily get started creating your applications for quick and rapid prototyping. So let's learn how to use Express Generator. So we can use NPX Express Generator or we can, if you're from a more traditional background and you're comfortable with NPM, use NPM install Express hyphen generator. I'm going to show you with NPX, especially if you are above node 8, you should have NPX installed on your machine. Let me show you how to install it with hands-on example. All right, so I'm here in the console. This is an empty project directory that I have, right? So there are no files in it yet. And the best way to do is first check your node version, right? It should be above 8. I am on 14.9. Ideally, you should be somewhere around 12 or 14 if you are on latest versions. Right. So now just do npx express generator. Right. So what this does is it's a package manager, yet another type of package uh, manager which will help you install, get the code and install it for you. Right. Like I said, some of you, if you are comfortable using npm install, you can also do npm install express generator, right? Either you can use npx or npm, doesn't matter. Okay, the output will be same. All right, so now once it's, it's all installed, you see it has already created a lot of things. Let's quickly explore them. So first thing you would see bin folder, right? This is where your www folder is which is nothing but your server root directory, right? That's what www means, the web, right? Public is nothing but these are public folders, right? So this is where you will keep all your compiled code, right? Public folders are nothing but like assets, style sheets, links or scripts, etc. Then you have JavaScript style sheet. This is what is for public, which are whichever is exposed and linked here. This is where the main thing begins. So you will have a folder called routes. That's where you will keep all your modules. So if you see here, users is a module. 
and index is a main file it will not have any code except for importing and using the routes so users.js so we have seen this code if you're familiar please refer to previous episodes we have covered them as part of modules right so we manually created all this right all the modules and routes etc so please refer the previous episodes now if you see it's automatically generated as a sample for users right and it's exporting the router and in the index we are using it and we are telling that this is where the index should be right and the main activity happens in your app.js remember i'll come to that in just a bit so this is where you'll keep all your mod modules inside the root folder routes folder then comes your views now these are template files right i'm going to cover the template engines in the next episode but understand that uh, these are your views or view is nothing but just i can say ui code right how it appears so you have index you have layout you have error handling etc don't get worried about what you see now you would see jade or you can see uh, pug etc etc do not ex ejx right so don't worry about all of that we'll see it in the next episode in detail for now understand these are just like template files or for your easy understanding think of these are html page html code that's all okay for now all right so for for people who are coming from server side world or java world think that this is a like a more of a class right where you will have variables uh, methods classes etc etc right so basically this is data this is the data which you will bind here in views that's where your output will come right that's how think of it so this becomes your model this becomes your view right if you want to come relate it just for your understanding all right so the next thing is the app.js right this is a main file it has all the modules that it requires it imports these are our modules with custom modules index users so tomorrow if you are creating a new say new module say orders right so you'll create your order here and just import it from here so this is how large projects are uh, operated right so order right and just copy this basic code in orders that's it and you are started that's it you are good to start with orders so now whenever it will be slash orders it will come inside this particular module right so see how easy it is to manage you have a proper structure you have all the assets folder you have all the basic things like logger cookie parser json parser path right these are all something which you will require in your application right and it has all the url encoding etc so that it can process the json data that it gets otherwise we have to do all of these operations ourselves right and this also includes a middleware which means next which handles your error handling etc right which means it makes it very very easy for you to just go ahead implement your modules and you are done right so that's how you jump start your applications so remember app.js is the heart of the application right where you import your modules uh, add the required modules and packages etc right finally you have your package.json which manages all the dependency code right so if you see here it has all the dependencies that is already added you will add more if you need that's obviously thing and then to start you can just say npm run start right so last but not the least package.json which will have all dependencies and it would have scripts for starting testing etc mocking etc right so see now you have a proper folder directory structure from nowhere in just couple of seconds you have a beautiful application ready to start and get deployed right so let me show you that now by starting right so how do we do that if you go to package you will see start so just say npm run start 
now it would start uh, okay there is an error what is the error this probably looks like uh, there is an error uh, in app.js right uh, require stack www cannot find module HTTP errors so what we need to do once we do that we have to first do a npm install because since we added it in the dependencies we have to run the installation npm install so it will install all of these required modules so there will be a node modules you see here let me add it here that after this do a npm install install and we should see a node underscore modules folder right which would have all the dependencies now it's good now we can start our application we can just say npm run start so now it's listening right and where is it listening any idea by now you should figure out that it's running on your port right and where is that port defined it is in your express server itself right so I'll leave that to you to figure out I'll give you 10 seconds to figure out still no idea or you can actually go to um, say routes index so you can figure out that in your app.js if you are still not able to let me show you that uh, okay so here we have app right and here we are running and it's listening dot use development status 500 by know that it's by default uh, running on 3000 so let me just show you that or it's actually a basically a web route right so you can just open that and you can see that so let me show you that so here you see you would see in www you would see a port if it's occupied run that right so basically it's a web portal it's not like your regular node so what I'm going to do is open up a browser and you can you'll, you can just type localhost 3000 right and you should see x middleware come up right so express welcome to express right so I'm going to customize this in just a bit so what I'm going to do now is here instead of title I'm going to say arc tutorials right now see let's go refresh okay sorry so we need to get the node mon so you can run node mon I'm for now just I'm running npm start again go refresh and now you would see arc tutorials we did not do anything in the template yet we changed it in the index.js but it's automatically reflecting in our template that's what we are going to learn in the next episode I hope it's clear to you I hope this particular after this particular episode you would be able to generate your applications quick start we'll soon be building a real-time project and application using Express that was going to be really interesting so stay tuned uh, ask me your doubts ask me your questions if you have and please continue giving your love and feedback thank you so much see you in the next episode